Welcome back everyone. In this video, I'll show you how to set up your Samsung S25 Ultra as a brand new phone. So if you just recently got the S25 Ultra and you want to know how to set this up, then let me show you how to do this. So this is the 512 GB model and this is in titanium silver blue. So let me show you how to set this up. So on your S25 Ultra, you want to go ahead and locate the power button, which is right here. Go ahead and long press it for about five seconds until you see the Samsung logo and then release it. Now let the phone start up. Now, once the phone starts up, this will show you the startup screen. Go ahead and tap on that. Now you want to go ahead and choose your language. Tap next. Go ahead and agree to the terms and conditions. Tap next. Now here, this will ask you if you want to easy set up with another device. However, if this is your first phone, then you can go ahead and tap on set up manually, but you have a choice of setting up with your another Galaxy or Android phone, or you can also transfer data between iPhone and iPad. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to set it up manually. Choose your Wi-Fi network. This will now ask you to restart your phone. So go ahead and restart it. Now here you can go ahead and insert your SIM card or you can scan a QR code or you can search for a mobile plan. However, for now, I'll just set it up later in settings. It'll now tell you this is getting your phone ready. So give it some time. So on the screen now, it'll ask you if you want to copy apps and data. So you can choose to transfer your data, apps, contacts or Google account from another phone. However, since this is a brand new phone, I'll just go ahead and tap on don't copy. Now here you can go ahead and sign into your Google account and personalize this phone. But for now, I'll just tap on skip and tap on skip. Now here you can go ahead and protect your phone. So you can use face recognition, fingerprints, pattern, pin or password. So for now, I'll just go ahead and use the pattern. Allow Google services to use locations, allow scanning and send usage and diagnostics. Tap on more and accept it. Now here you want to go ahead and choose your search engine. So we'll make Google as our main search engine. Tap set as default. Now this is asking you to log into your Samsung account. If you do have a Samsung account, go ahead and log in. If you don't have it, just tap on forgot password or don't have it. And we'll set it up later in settings. Now here, this is explaining you why you need a Samsung device. It's pretty good because you can find your device. If they're lost, you can sign into apps and websites with your biometric. You can track your exercise or your Samsung health. You can sync apps and settings across all devices, and you can use parental controls to protect children from inappropriate content. So if you're interested in all of these services, go ahead and create a Samsung account. But for now, I'll just tap on skip. I'll go ahead and agree to these terms and conditions and then tap on agree. Now here, Samsung services offer auto blocker, customization service and personal data intelligence. So we'll go ahead and agree with that as well. Here we can go ahead and choose, do you want the light mode or the dark mode? For now, we'll go ahead and choose the light mode. And now the phone has been set up. Once you're done, go ahead and tap on home. And now you've completed setup on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So there you go, guys. That is how to set up your Samsung S25 Ultra. If you're new on the channel and you want to find out more about your iPhone, your Android phone, or any other social media apps, then don't forget to subscribe to this channel to become a part of the Simple Dad community. Hit the like button if you find this video useful.